Hello and welcome to my very first PSA return video. I've actually got some cards to go through initially. Uh, I've got some mail day cards. I'll go through the cards that didn't quite make the grade and then I'll go through the, the good stuff. So uh, initially these cards are ones that uh, are known as do not sends. So when you send into Lukens, um, they'll inspect the cards for you and let you know roughly what they'll get grade wise. So these didn't end up going. This is from my December sub, which are the cards that I've got here. Uh, and this very last one was my April sub um, so yeah these didn't make the cut so they're just going to go up there they'll probably end up going into a binder um, I'll do mail day next so these <coughs> I bought these over the past couple of months uh, been saving them up for a reason um, and I also know or I also knew what grades the cards that were coming back were so I preemptively bought uh, replacements for ones that didn't quite make the cut um, so first up I've got Rocket Scyther, I mean if you'd have watched my gym one opening, boosters opening, um, I did actually want to pull this card but for some reason luck wasn't on my side that day so I didn't end up. Um, Erica's Venusaur PSA 10, so I've got this and I've got Giovanni as well. So these are the last two cards I needed to complete the gym two. Uh, hollows in a PSA 10 so I'll be showcasing them sometime in the near future I've got Sabrina's Alakazam from the uh, Sabrina deck as you can see there no rarity symbol um, yeah it's just a really really nice card uh, what else have I got ah. Neo 2 Tyranitar Unfortunately, this got a 9 in my last sub, so I just went ahead and bought a 10 myself. And last but not least, a little bit different from what I normally get, VS. This is the third card I've got uh, from the VS set. Uh, just saw it on eBay, it was a good price, so I thought I'd snap it up. Um, really, really like the card. Probably will end up just getting the legendary dogs first. But yeah, this is just recent mail day that I've picked up, so moving on. So the cards that didn't quite make the cut. <clears throat> First up. So you can see that it, I already knew I was going to get it. So I just went ahead and bought the tent. Because it was at a good price. So yeah, because of about that, I did actually, it, it did look like a solid, solid ten, But for some reason it might have been a little bit of silver in. So that goes up there. Blaine, I have actually just won the PSA 10 version of this, so not too bothered about this. this. These are all on eBay at the moment. Did miss out on this card. I should have got it, to be honest. It was a really good price, but for some reason I just forgot about it and lost out. Oh well. This was the lowest graded card in the return. I don't know why I got an 8. I really don't. Um, Plus a free expedition. This gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to be going through anyway. Mewtwo GX. Again, no idea why this got a 9. And Zoroark GX Hyper 9. It wouldn't be a PSA return if they didn't manage to damage a card. There's now a nice. Let's see which corner it is. Yeah. This corner, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but there's a nice, lovely. Nick in the corner there now, so which wasn't there when I sent it, but I'm not going to lose too much sleep about it. And <clears throat> again, this one I've got no idea why this got a nine, but I picked this up off a friend. Cheers, James. Oh well. So there are all the the cards that unfortunately didn't get a ten, but it's okay because there are a lot of tens in this return. It's probably the biggest one I've done. Ever, I would say ever. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll be going through them now. Right onto the good stuff. First up, Sabrina's Alakazam. In fact, I'll do these in a pair. So I've got Sabrina's Alakazam and Rocket's Mewtwo. Now these are the only two cards I've graded from the Gym Two set. Every other card I bought. Uh, obviously, I did want to get the Erica's Venusaur, but oh well. PSA didn't like giving me the ten. So. Yeah, really happy with those two. Over there. Next up, Sabrina Hollow Trainer card. So that will actually go with. Where is it? This. And I picked up in Mail Day. 
So I've now got both of the cards from the deck. I just need the deck itself. Um, and I believe Sabrina from a binder. And then that's that sorted. But really, really nice looking cards. Sorry about the glare. I did try and fix it. I've had absolutely no luck doing it. So I just sort of had to roll with it. Neo 2 Polyrath. I knew this was going to get a 10. I don't even know why it sat in my binder for so long. It should have gone off with the other Neo 2 set they had, but it didn't. But yeah, made up with that. Really, really nice hollow pattern on it. Weird to see Polyrath as a fighting um, <coughs> energy. Right, I've got quite a few of these actually. So, yeah, first up, Weezing from the E1 Expedition set, first edition. Just they are fastly becoming my favourite favourite set. One of the Gen 2 starters. Yes, he turned again. Hollow pattern, it's great. Rapidash. Which I'm made up about. Polyrath actually pulled this, bought a few packs. It was through Facebook. The only ever time I bought something from Facebook. Um, yeah, managed to pull that. I, I, at the time, I didn't know that hollows were in every pack. So I bought them thinking that they would be, and luckily, did pull a hollow, so it paid off. For alligator. The rest of the cards I actually bought off eBay. Me too. Um, there was a guy who was selling a opened expedition booster box. All the packs were there, there was 40 packs in it, all the packs were there, all the cards were still in it, so they'd open them, look through them and then put them back in the packets. Managed to buy for £90, which I think the box goes for a few hundred pounds now, maybe maybe even more, maybe more than £500. So it was weird, I, I don't know, I, I managed to scoop it up for £90 uh, and these are the hollows that are sent off. I did actually complete more than or get more than 50% of the binder set done as well with a few repeat hollows in there so this massively paid off um, especially with the likes of this card which is a £50 card at least and finally from the older sets Tarot. again this this is upwards of £60, £70 so, yeah, it really did pay off. And uh, the artwork on this card is just amazing. So, yeah. This is the older cards that I've got. Um, so, I'm really, really happy. I got, what, 10? Yeah, 10 E Series E1 Hollows in a PSA 10. I've already got two. So, I think, to be honest, that set's going to sit on the back burner. I've got a few more of the Gem 1 sets to complete. Uh, and then I'm not far off completing all the Neo 4 set. Uh, sorry, the Neo 1 to 4 sets. So I'll probably be doing them first and then I'll start on the um, the series stuff. But it was just, it was there. I couldn't couldn't really resist it. Um, on to some of the newer stuff, which uh, I don't like massively collect. I do like opening the newer boxes. It is a lot cheaper. You still get that that rush that you get when you're you're opening the um the packs so uh what day is it now tuesday i think later on in the week the sm10b set will be out which is the one that's got the articuno zapdos and moltres on the front and it's a gx card so i have actually got that lined up to be bought on the day or the day before in japan and sent over to me so <clears throat> i'll be doing a, a box opening of that which hopefully you'll all enjoy. So yeah, first up, Entai GX. Sat on these cards for a while. Um, I got them from a friend in Japan. Uh, she sent them all over, picked them up, went, went to numerous shops when the set first came out. Found good cards, good quality cards, and yeah, sent them all over. So yeah, I have been sat on them for a while. Um, I did obviously want to get them all sequentially graded, but PSA 2 a spanner in the works with regards to the Mewtwo and the Zoroark. So I'll just have to either find other cards or 
by the graded. Um, but Japanese hyper cards are just, I just think they're so much better than um, than the English ones. So uh, I'm happy. Six out of the eight got a ten. Uh, I've already got the full art Zoroark. Um, I think the, I only need two cards now to complete the set. That's including the Shinans as well. I've got all of them. Um, I don't know why I bought this card. I actually bought the box, opened the box and didn't pull it. So I think straight away as a knee-jerk reaction, I just went out and bought it because I actually wanted to pull this one. So I probably will get it in a hyper at some point. Um, and then this was the other part of the set, the SM4S. This was SM4A, I think. Yeah, A. So yeah. I don't know why I bought it. I, I really, it was. A, I, and I say I've been sat on these for probably about a year now. These cards, they've just been sat waiting to go. So I thought, oh, why not? I sent them away at Christmas, which is the unfortunate thing. If you don't, if you're watching this in America, you've got it so lucky. We send. I sent those cards off at the start of December, and I got them back probably at the start of April. That's that's the the return times for being in the UK. One well, and hyper. And last but not least, I actually pulled this myself. Got this from my um, SM7 booster box. It's a cool looking full art. I don't think it's the most expensive. I think it's actually the cheapest in the set. And then you've got obviously the Rayquaza, which I... That was another return that I got. But yeah. Overall, I mean, to be honest, I can't complain. I got 24 out of the 33 were a... 10 so obviously I have got 10 newer cards and the newer cards are more likely to get to get 10s just because they're fresh out the packet most of the time but yeah I, I am actually really happy with this return Um could have gone a little bit better just with the I really wanted all these in in order uh, all together but so yeah that is all of the um, the cards I've got to go through today it will be a while before I do my next return, but in the meantime, I'll be showcasing. I've got Gem 1 Fossil, um, Gym 2, and Team Rocket sets to showcase. And I'll also be doing uh, some new booster box openings. So if that's something that you w would be interested in, then just hit subscribe, um, and you'll get a notification of when I do actually bring those videos out. Hopefully I should be able to record a few more this week. Just keep the ball rolling and, uh, and get some more out for you. But yeah, apart from that, um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy your day.